guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am so, so excited for. As you can see in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my little beauty room makeover on a budget because your girl is always on a budget. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I've been literally filming like clips for this video since end of May or end of April, I want to say. I moved into this house end of January and the third bedroom in this house, you can like probably barely fit a bed in realistically. So with my love and passion for makeup and YouTube and filming and whatnot, I was like, I want to make this space my little beauty room, my little makeup room. I have a space to come to and relax and like help my anxiety because makeup, I'm telling you, is like my therapy. Yeah, and just have a space where I can hang out with friends, where I can get ready with friends and take pictures, you know, whatnot. So I got some clips along the way, like me putting these cubes together, me getting my new makeup desk and just different things. So I'm going to include them right now before I show you guys the final room, of course. Um, the lighting will probably be all over the place because it was different days. Some clips were on my phone, some clips were on my camera in the living room. So don't mind that. And I do wish I would have gotten a little bit more footage for you guys, but that just will make the ending a little bit more exciting. Yeah. I'm super, super excited. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you guys have any, like, small spaces or closets that you're like wanting to turn into a beauty room. I'm telling you, you guys do not have to spend a lot of money because I did this and did not spend a lot of money. I'm telling you, especially with quarantine and everything going on in life right now. You can make over a room with things that you have. I got a lot of stuff from the dollar store, Amazon, Dollar General, um, stuff from both my sisters. So yeah, I'll show you guys at the very end where I got everything, where I ordered everything from and whatnot. But yeah, I think that's it for this intro. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. So welcome to day one of redoing the beauty room. So the first step in this process, me and my sister like planned everything out today. And the first thing I need to do is clear out this closet behind me. That's why I'm like hunched over and I'm out of breath because I had to like move all my lights and everything so that I could film from this angle. And this room is so small. So there's a bunch of sweaters here and then over here is like work spring stuff. And then I have this whole rack right here of more sweaters. So what I'm gonna do is go through all these clothes right now and separate them into three piles. So it's gonna be Poshmark, Goodwill, and then just plain like getting rid of. I'll do like a time lapse of me going through everything and then I will show you the three piles in the end. And the whole point is to get everything to fit on this rack right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get organizing. Okay, so first thing, I actually already have a box right here for stuff for Poshmark. So I'm gonna be adding to this box and then I also have like all of my little side purses on the side right here. So I'm going to need to find a new home for these. So this is the after. 
So this is all the winter stuff that I kept. And this is all the spring slash summer work stuff that I kept, which is really not a lot. And I'm actually really proud of myself. And then I literally have two maybes, a sweater and then a tank top. Um, yeah, so this is my Poshmark pile right here that I'm gonna try to sell. And then this is Goodwill. And I know it doesn't look like that much, but it's all of these hangers worth. So I think I did a really good job. So then this rack is broken. So what I'm gonna do is get a new one that extends up. So there's two sets and I'm just gonna do winter and summer. And hopefully we can just combine this on to this. <sighs> okay. This is the end of day one of the process. I'm actually really proud of myself. I'm looking crazy. I'm really proud of myself and everything I was able to get rid of. And now to go get a new clothing rack and on to day two. This is the old desk and the organization. So I wanted to show you guys, if you hear something, my little heater is running because our furnace is broken. But I wanted to show you guys my organization before I switch out my vanity and my sister and I redo everything. So this is what it looks like right now. And then I have like these little three drawers right here. And then I believe this is called the Alex drawer from Ikea and the top is from Ikea too. Um, they're both really old. But so in this, I have like my most used products. So then if I move this stuff out of the way. In these drawers over here, this top drawer, I used to have foundations over here. That's why it looks like this. It's a mess. Um, I have concealers, loose concealers, contour things over here these are all moisturizers and primers and then these are like bb creams and whatnot and a random foundation and this is a random little jane iredale palette and then in these are so squeaky this drawer is just like a mix of everything um bronzers highlighters blushes powders more and then this is cream blushes over here um and then just random stuff like old stuff i need to get rid of no lid on the side this drawer is like my eye drawer and then some random lippies um back there so this is really like all I use right here. And then it's just a bunch of random. So like eyelash stuff, brow stuff, lipsticks, lip glosses, bunch of random eye, you know, singles, singles over here. And then a bunch of random little palettes. It's just like not organized. An original naked palette over here on the side. Um, and then I just put my foundations in this drawer. I used to have my hair stuff in here, um, but I just wanted them all standing up. So they're just, they're just kind of a mess. There's too much space. And then the bottom drawer is just random like Q-tips, that kind of thing down there. Um, and then over here, I have more. So up top is like, all eye pencils, um, my most used lip stuff. This basket right here is really what I use like on a daily basis. And then the bottom is mascaras and they're really actually old. So I just wanted to show you guys the before organization and everything before I move it all. 
Oh, and then over here is more lipsticks. And then more over here, like makeup remover, little shavers, um, chapsticks. And I have some random hair stuff over here. And then I have my hair stuff down here. And then this is like brush cleaner stuff, more hair stuff. So it's like one big mess. Oh yeah, so this is my vanity over here. Over here is where I sit to film, like all my lights and stuff and the desk I use. So these are all my brushes over here. They're so dirty, I'm about to clean them. Um, and then this is like everyday primers, moisturizer, sprays, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the before, just so you can see, you know, from the before to the after, so yeah. Okay, so I wanted to film myself getting my new makeup desk. So I got it from my sister's friend. If you hear my hazards, it's because I'm sitting in Baltimore City and the street has like no parking, so I just parked on the side. But here's my desk, I just picked it up. I'm so excited. So now I'm gonna take it home and get organizing. So I'll see you guys back at my house in the beauty room. All right, so I just got home and moved my other desk downstairs and put the new one up here. I love how much smaller it is. Um, these drawers were what was under my desk before holding up the one side. So now what I need to do is consolidate this into these drawers and get rid of a bunch of the stuff that's in here because I don't really use it. Oh, you can see me. Hi. Um, so that's the next project. So I'm going to start doing that, but I figured I'd show you guys what the desk looks like right now. I think it looks so good. Okay. I'm sweaty, so sweaty and so gross, but I moved all my clothes from over here, all over there. This rack fell down and I had to redo the whole thing. It's still wobbly because I have so many sweaters down here. But I moved that over there and then moved my desk. Oh, you can't really see. Into the closet. And I have so much more floor space. But I want to do like a shelf here and then shelves over here for like my hair stuff. Because like there's this gap right here and my hair shit's just on the floor but I think this is good progress. And then the cu big cube thing, we're gonna hang over here and flip my filming stuff around and get a cute rug for down here. So now I just have to go through this thing and get it all into here. And I have so much junk back there, but I'm making progress. Okay, so I finally got my little six cube organizer in the mail today. I'm so excited. So I figured I'd show you guys and then I'm just going to do a little time lapse of Ty and I putting it together. So here we go. All right, we just got back from Dollar General and I got spray paint and that's some laundry stuff. And this really cute, um, like blush colored pink blanket. So I'm gonna go outside and we're doing the second coat. All right, we're spray painting my makeup chair outside. So here we go. Come on, Eve. All right, hold on. And we're doing the second coat on the chair. The 
looking good. All right, guys, I'm here with my sister in the beauty room on the floor. I know this angle is super awkward, but we're gonna be going through this drawer and this drawer or drawers right here. So like I said earlier, I want to combine this three drawer into these Ikea Alex drawers. And then we're going to be reorganizing with a bunch of these little organizers that I got. And then of course cleaning as I go because I don't know when the last time I cleaned this stuff. So it'll probably be in fast forward or like a time lapse, but I wanted to bring you guys along. So here we go. Okay, we're halfway through. We have primers, concealers, and foundations left. And then we're gonna put it all back into the drawers. So, let's get done. Okay, so we just put my foundations, BB creams, primers, primers, and concealers in this bottom drawer. And then we're gonna keep going up. And I'm gonna show you and fast forward how we organize everything. I didn't realize that wasn't in frame. Okay, this is my vanity drawer. Literally, these headbands were just everywhere. All this was just spread out everywhere. And Natalie went and look, she organized all my headbands, hair ties, bobby pins, little tiny, what do you call these things? I don't know. And then other hair ties, clips, scrunchies, little shavers, a mirror, my brush. I just thought it was the most aesthetically pleasing thing ever. Thanks, Nat. <laughs> My shelves! Finally up. Yeah. So now I'm going to put all my hair stuff on here. And it'll look so cute. Yay! Okay, so the last and final part to the beauty room. Don't mind the messy shoes. But I have this blank space over here behind my door above where I put this shoe rack um, next to my cubes. So I don't wanna show you guys too much, but I wanna do something with this area. And I was gonna do like three little makeup like canvases right here. But then I saw this. I have like a million pictures I printed out from when my brother passed away and family pictures and friends and whatnot. So I figured I'd do this. It's so much cuter and it's also the holiday season so I can always change it out but that's what I'm about to do right now and I'll show you guys when I am done I'm gonna try to use these little what are they called clip I don't even know and then thumbtacks to hold it up so wish me luck All right guys, so now that I'm done with my little light project over here, that's it for the whole process. There's a bunch of things I didn't show you guys or forgot to show you guys, like I just forgot to film. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm about to clean this room and then we're gonna jump into the reveal and I'll show you guys the finished room and how it turned out. I love it in here. I mean, it's tiny, it's little, but it's my little space, so. Yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into the reveal. 
All right, guys, so I think the last clip that you guys saw was me putting up my lights in the beading room with the, all the little pictures and whatnot, which I'll show you in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the finished room and what it looks like. First, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without all my lights, like my big light boxes and my camera setup and everything. So I took all that out, so it's just like the beauty room without all the equipment. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with all the equipment. I'm actually really mad at myself because if you saw in the beginning, I lost all of my before footage of the room that was actually filmed on a camera and like really good quality. So luckily I had some clips on my phone that I used to show you guys what it looked like before. But basically it was just two desks in here and then my closet and that was really it. So yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys the final room. So when you walk in, you go to the left where my closet used to be. So over here is my vanity, which obviously I took all the clothes out of here and decided to put this in here, which I'm so excited about. So I have, well obviously my phone right here. I usually have my hair stuff right here. Um, I have these little roses back here. And my mirror, this mirror, my mom actually got me off of Amazon for Christmas last year. And then I have just little decorations. So that relax sign back there was from the dollar store and we just spray painted it black. And then this little tray is super, super old. I don't know where it's from. Um, this, is all, th this is all old besides my grandmother gave me this perfume. Um, this is a little crystal from the Kim Kardashian. I think it was like Gardenia Citrus perfume or something. And then this was actually a little dollar store candle that my sister decided to stick a little plant in to make it cute because I liked the marble look. And then back there, so there's actually like a little spot right here to put like a charger that you set your phone on, but it wasn't working. So I just wanted to cover it up. But this is a cute little dish my friend Stevie gave me that says there's always mascara and I just have like little earrings and whatnot on it. And then my little mirror right here. And then here are the finished shelves. So I got these off of Amazon and I believe it was $22 for both of them. It's like a rustic wood. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's like a rustic wood white kind of finish. And then I took all my hair stuff that used to be, that was under my desk a while ago and put it all up here. So like all the little stuff up top and then the bigger stuff down low. And then all my little hair tie, I'm not hair ties, headbands right here. And then if we move into the little drawer right here, which you guys already basically saw, but my sister organized this for me. So we have all my headbands over here, scrunchies. This is like brushes and shavers. Um, these are clips, hair ties, more hair ties. These are like little elastics. And then, um, oh, these need to be pushed back. And then my bobby pins. And then these are like thinner headbands, like sportier headbands but I thought it looked so good. I was so ex excited when she had the idea to do this. I love this. So, and then I didn't even tell you guys. So this desk I got from my sister's friend off of Facebook Marketplace and I got it for $30. So I feel like that was a steal. I was so excited about that. So this is the chair that you guys saw me and my sister spray painting. And this is the pink fluffy blanket that I got from Dollar General for $15. And it's like the softest, coziest thing. I love sitting with this. And I actually get ready most of the time in this mirror over here. Um, and then under here is just obviously the trash can and then hair stuff, like blow dryer and curling iron and whatnot. Um, and then hair brushes. And then I have like an extra little mirror. That's like a close up mirror. And then my work bag right here, full of my makeup that I take to work. So yeah, that's this little area over here. I'm super excited about it. 
And then when you turn this way, this is like my long mirror where I like to take all my outfit pictures. And this is actually from Tyler's friend, actually gave this to us. And it used to have like wood around it, but I took that part off and just have like the mirror, which I like. So I love this here. And I feel like it makes the room look a little bit bigger. All right, so then moving over here, Tyler hung this TV for me for when I'm filming so that I can see myself on this on this big screen instead of the tiny little screen that comes on the camera. So I love that. And this wall right here looks really plain, but that's only because usually all my lights are set up are set up right in this area right here, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I love that. And the cords are all hidden, so I love that too. And then over here is where I, you know, hung the rest of my clothes that were all in my closet. So it's been a while since then, but I did get the clothing rack from Walmart. I think it was like $10, I want to say, maybe $15, but I want to say $10. And it's a white two rack, you know, clothing rack. So I just have up top, I have like more fall slash winter like lighter clothing if that makes sense and it's like it makes sense in my head but probably not to other people um and then like dressier shirts and then short sleeve and then i have my furry vest right here and then over here on the end is where i keep like all my long long cardigans that are just super long and i don't want them dangling on the floor and then down here on the bottom, I have all my sweaters. So like high neck sweaters, thinner high neck sweaters, cardigans, and then just plain sweaters and then patterned sweaters. And then over in the front, I have another vest. So I'm really happy about how this turned out. Oh, and then the rug. So this rug, I actually searched for for like ever. This is just a three by five black fluffy rug is what I googled on Amazon and I believe it was $15 20 at the most um, but I love it it's like super like fluffy fluffy if that makes sense you probably can't see it because it's literally black but I love this rug it's perfect for this room and the perfect size because usually my desk is on top of it so so then over here I got a new curtain rod so before I had a white curtain rod and um, I think it was gray curtains so I got a black curtain rod and just one panel of a white curtain because I thought it would look better in here with the gray walls and yeah I don't want I didn't want blackout curtains because I still like some light to come in here when I'm filming just not like a lot of light to come in so that's why I didn't get, I got like a thinner type of curtain for that reason. Over here we have my makeup. So this basket right here I got from Dollar General. It was $8 and it's just like this cute pink basket. And then this pillowcase is also from Amazon and it was super cheap, I think like $13. This blanket is super old. Um, I just like to have this on my chair when I'm filming. I like white makeup and stuff on it. Like it's not like a, it's like a rough blanket. And my sister and I decided to put all my palettes in this basket right here. So there's eyeshadow palettes in here and then there's contour palettes. It's like literally just stuffed full. I honestly want to find a new kind of organization system for this because it is really hard to find stuff in here but this is just what works for now. So I have all of my palettes in here, well, smaller palettes in here. I just kind of put the blanket and the pillow over top just to make it look a little bit cuter. But yeah, I definitely need to find a new organization system for these smaller palettes. I just don't have the space right now. So then over here we have where I store all of my makeup now. So up top is my brushes. So we have, they're all dirty, don't mind them. And then this cute little lamp, 
because I sometimes like to film in this corner right here so I thought it was a cute little setup this little picture right here I actually found at the Dollar Tree I was so excited when I found this I think it's like the cutest thing it has a little perfume and a lipstick and a little mascara on top of some books and then there's like a little makeup brush at the bottom and then like a little palette so I thought it was so freaking cute and for a dollar I thought it was such a good deal and then right here I have my little live happy dish this is just a, like a remote to um, your phone if you want to do videos and then this is also from the dollar store I talked about this in my Dollar Tree video and then I have this cute little gold and marble candle right here this is from Dollar General this was five dollars I was so excited when I saw this candle so yeah that's this little area right here and then I'm going to show you guys just a little bit into the drawers I don't want to you know go over every single item but just like an overall view of what's in them and they're super squeaky so i'm just warning you okay so in this drawer we have lipsticks up here and then liquid lips right here and then all my setting sprays brush cleaner lotion a little fan back there um, and then all the way in the back back there is glosses so you can tell I don't really use those very much, but that's what's back there. Okay, so the second drawer right here is a bunch of eye stuff and also lip pencils. So I have like chapsticks and lip pencils, eyeliners right here, mascaras over here, which I honestly don't have a lot of, and then my eyelash curler. And then in the back here, I have really small eyeshadow palettes, drugstore eyeshadow palettes that I like to use like often. And then I have this random little Stila in here. And then underneath, I have eyeshadow primers under here, and then another little like glitter eyeshadow, kind of like this one. So this basket's pretty random. Um, and then I have some brow stuff here, and then back here is just an old naked palette that I didn't want to get rid of. And back here, I have single eyeshadows that I don't really use, but I didn't want to get rid of when we were decluttering. I have makeup remover, little pads, and then of course just like regular makeup remover and then my little elf eye tapes that I love to death and then of course lashes in here so like individual and whatnot so that is drawer number two so drawer number three this one's my favorite because it's like all my powders and whatnot so up front right here is all of my bronzers and there's an elf cream bronzer palette right here and then right here i have all my highlighters i combined them into this little basket and then two little loose highlighters up top and then over here is all of my blushes and then back here is powders so loose powders and also pressed powders and then back here is all my cream products so cream contour cream blush cream highlighter and all of that so i feel like i did a really good job at like getting rid of a lot of makeup and combining it all into this drawer i was really really happy about that okay so then we have drawer number four so this is also one of my favorite drawers so of course i have all my foundations back here in the back I have concealers right here I have primers right here up in the front that I want to stand up and then other primers that I don't mind laying down right there and then in the back is my BB creams and uh, CC creams and all that kind of jazz right there so this I wanted my foundations to be able to stand up because I hated when I had them laying down and they would all like fall to one side I hated it so like all the product would be down here at the bottom so I found a way to make them stand up I just got this is actually a shoe container the last drawer is just a bunch of randoms we didn't really even touch this drawer it's just like deodorant a makeup bag there's q-tips there's these like little sponges um, more sponges lotions um, what are these called? Little cotton squares. So just like that kind of stuff in here. So I just leave this all in here. I don't really do anything with it. So yeah, 
that's the set of Alex drawers. Then if we move on from the little corner over here, we have my cubes where I sit and film in front of. These cubes I got on Amazon and they were super cheap. I think it was $29 for the six. So you can get, I think it's six or nine, but I thought nine would be too big. So I just did the six and yeah, I love them. And then my desk underneath of here, so I have a little bin right here that I usually use for like my daily like go-to makeup that I just have over here. I'll usually have that over at my vanity, um, but I just had it right here for the purpose of the video and the desk as well. So this desk is super old. My sister gave this to me. She's had it for years and years and years. And I just got the marble contact paper from Walmart for $5. And I did this myself. I just, um, if, you ever, if you ever use contact paper, you know what I'm talking about. And I like this because this is the desk that I film on and this like wipes off easily. So if you spill something on it, it literally comes right off. So yeah, I thought that just added a really cute touch to the room because I love marble. It's like my thing. Um, so yeah, and I also hung the cubes high enough so that the desk could fit under here. That way I could have, you know, the floor space and whatnot that I wanted. And I didn't want the room to be super, super cluttered. So, yeah. So then over here, my cubes. So I've never gone into detail. I know you guys have probably seen my videos, so you know, you know, this is my background. So I changed out my little fall leaves that I had and I put my pink ones in here for the video because that's what's usually in here besides for the holidays. So I just want to go into detail really, really quick. So this right here is from the dollar store. I thought it was the cutest little, I don't know, jar ever. It's just gold and white and I love it. My sister Natalie gave me this little cute plant. I think she said this was from the dollar store. It's like a little succulent. And then this book she gave me, I have no idea what it is, but it was black and gold and I thought it would look cute up here. And then down here, once again, my sister Natalie gave me the little marble dish right here. And then my flowers, which my flowers are from the Dollar Tree. I just cut them off. And all the little vases are also from the Dollar Tree. I talked about that in my Dollar Tree video, so I feel like I'm repeating myself. But yeah, all the little vases are from the Dollar Tree, and so are the flowers. Also over here, if you didn't watch my Dollar Tree video, all of these little glass containers for my brushes are also from the Dollar Tree. But this one over here, this is a Sephora box that I got for Christmas, oh my gosh, years and years and years ago. And it like expands open and it has like eyeshadows and lipsticks and whatnot. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like kids makeup, but not. So that's that. I just like the black and white vibe. And then another thing of my little flowers. And then down here, I got this from, I got this from either Dollar Tree or Dollar General. So this is just a little box. It was Dollar General. I remember that because I got it when I lived at my old house. And then this just has all my sponges in it. So I just like to keep that right behind me. And I liked the black, gold, and white little theme because that was my theme for this room. And a pop of pink, but I just thought it looked really cute. And then over here... My sister also gave me this plant right here. She had it at her house. And then this little black elephant is from the dollar store. So like if you go into the dollar store and they always have like this little knickknack section, that's where I always get these little things. And then down here is another set of my flowers. Um, this back here says, be your own kind of beautiful. I got that from five and below for $3. I thought it was so cute. I was going to use it for brushes, but I just thought it was a cute decoration. And then this, my friend Stevie actually gave me, and I believe it's from the dollar store. I'd have to double check on that one. And then this little love sign matches the relax one over on my makeup desk. So if you go to the dollar store, they always have like little wooden crafts. That's where I got this. I got this one, the love one and the relax one there, and then just spray painted them black. So I love that. All right, and then above the shelves up here, I have my bigger palettes. So I have little Profusion palettes, Morphe, Morphe, um, and then, I think a makeup revolution one yeah 
And then over here, this is my sister actually did this cute little TW painting in the back. My roommate that lives in our basement actually painted that for me. So I thought it was a cute pop of color. And then over here, I have the rest of my bigger palettes. So Nude Patootie, more Profusion, Morphe, 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 Morphe. <laughs> So, the, oh, and actually my ColourPop Bare Necessities palette is in there somewhere. So, yeah, I thought this was super, super cute. I thought, I mean, I think it turned out really, really well. I love how everything turned out. And then last but not least, over here, I thought this was more like sentimental and you know meant more than just like three random makeup pictures there and this room is like my space and you know my makeup's my therapy so I just wanted it to be like a good vibe and I love lights I swear lights and like Christmas time and all of that put me in the best mood so yeah I really really love that and then over here so these shoes used to be if you remember the beginning they were on the floor of the closet like all over the place so my sister gave me this little shoe rack that she was getting rid of and yeah put all my shoes on this and then over on the back of the door is where i ended up taking off all the hoodies that were on there and i put them in my bedroom and then if you remember earlier on in the video i actually said like i need to find a home for these purses so this little rack right here is from the dollar store so I got this and this is where I'm hanging all my little side purses and clutches and whatnot so I thought that turned out super cute this is the finished little beauty space I love the way everything came out and I want to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with my lights and everything in here so hold on just a moment Okay, so this is me walking into my beauty room with my lights and camera and everything up. Well, my camera's in my hand, or obviously it would be right here. So I have my two box lights and then my ring light here, and then my camera goes right here. And then you guys see this background right here. So I love how thin this desk is. And then I love the carpet underneath and how it's black. I got black just in case I drop makeup or anything like that. And yeah, that's really it. So this is what it looks like over here. So you see what I mean? Like if I would have put like stuff on the wall back there, I wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to see it or anything because if I didn't film videos, I'd put like a bench or something back there. But this takes up all the space. And then there's all these wires and whatnot down here. So yeah, this is what it looks like when it's all set up. And I usually just leave it like this. And this chair usually stays over here. Um, sometimes I'll bring it over here if I'm not filming a lot. But to be honest, usually I will sit on the floor right here and do my makeup in this mirror right here just for like everyday makeup. So yeah, that is it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun filming this video even though it took like forever and ever to film. But I had so much fun and I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.